Unexpected decision from Prigazin, Wagnerites leave Bakhmut from May 10. Yevgeny Prigazin, the founder of the Wagner Group, has written a letter to the Russian Defense Ministry, stating that he will withdraw the Wagner Group mercenaries from Bakhmut after May 10. I officially appeal to the Chief of the General Staff, the Minister of Defense, the Supreme Commander-in-Chief and the people of Russia. I declare on behalf of the fighters of the Wagner Group, on behalf of the command of the Wagner Group, that on May 10, we are forced to transfer positions in the settlement of Bakhmut to the units of the Ministry of Defense and withdraw the remnants of the Wagner Group to the rear camps to lick our wounds. I withdraw units of the Wagner Group because they are doomed to senseless death without ammunition, he added. In his letter Prigazin remembered that Russian Ministry Defense asked Wagner for help last year, when they saw that the military operation was not going according to plan in March 2022, they asked us for help. Our units in Africa came to the region where the heaviest battles were fought and achieved success. Later, we took positions to save the army that fled in shame from Izium and Lyman. In October, we started operations in the Bakhmut meat machine to give the army a chance to catch its breath. Our good results worried some officials in the Ministry of Defense. Therefore, they began to create a shortage of ammunition. We are only given 10% of what we need so we can't free Bakhmut. They want to stay in history as winners, but they have already gone down as cowards. I appeal to the Minister of Defense and say that my soldiers will not suffer meaningless losses in Bakhmut without weapons. Therefore, we are leaving Bakhmut from May 10. We are waiting for a military order to leave Bakhmut. Despite the lack of weapons, we are staying here until May 9th. Later, we will take a position in the rear of the front and wait when we are needed.